ping pong balls. There's just something fun in the sound of a ping pong ball. I want to find a way to be able to make a ping pong ball fly. I'm not just like this. I want to find a way to be able to make a ping pong ball fly with force. And you can't just have one ping pong ball. It's better if you have dozens and dozens and dozens of ping pong balls. I want to find a way to launch them. And I think I have some really cool ideas. I'm Steve Spangler, and I'm all about making science fun. For the last 20 years, I've been teaching ways to turn ordinary science experiments into unforgettable learning experiences. I have an amazing team who will do whatever it takes to affect the way people think about science. And to do that, I live by one motto. Make it big, do it right, give it class. As a kid, I remember this ping pong ball popper that was pretty cool. It was just this kind of like rubber device that had air inside and you just kind of push this inside and squeeze it and it would pop. It wasn't terribly exciting, but it was a ping pong ball launcher. And then I saw this at uh, the auto store. It's a battery filler. See this? This might be perfect for the first part. Now, I'm not advocating that you tear this apart at the store. You're going to have to buy it first, but that's the piece that you want. This to the wayside. All right, so here's what happens is the ping pong ball fits perfectly inside here like this. It's just got enough pressure around it like that. That's perfect. And then when you squeeze it here, watch. Bam. This is pretty good. What if there was an explosion inside? Firing the ball out. That would be even better. And to do that, we got to go to the camping aisle. Well, this is what you're looking for. It's a lantern uh, spark igniter. So when you twist it, it uh, the flint inside gives a little spark. This is what you're going to need. So take that home. You're also going to need to have some simple tools, and we're ready to uh, build ourselves an igniter. The first step is to take that battery bulb and to poke a hole in it. The size of a screwdriver seems to be just about right. I don't want it too big. Kind of see what's going on inside, just kind of poking it through like that. That will be perfect. And then uh, you just need to take apart the lantern uh, lighter, the little spark igniter, right? So what I did was uh, just with a pair of pliers kind of loosened this and took this apart, all right? You need to be careful because this is spring loaded. It'll pop out and it takes you another five minutes to stick everything back in again. What we want to do is to get this inside the bulb. So I'm going to put this down inside and try to feed that in through here so it pops out the other side and we can twist this in place. Oh, that's perfect. This is what we're trying to do. Take a look at this. See, I finally got this down inside here like this. That's perfect. Again, you want to be very careful that you don't push on this little piece here or it'll pop out. Now I'm going to try to expose the threads that are right there. So you see, so we have something to grab onto. That part right there, washer goes on top like this. This piece goes on top, and now you just have to screw it together. The entire time, I'm keeping my finger on that little flint mechanism that's inside so it doesn't pop back. So that's pretty good. And even gonna try to tighten it up a little bit just so it doesn't come undone. Perfect. Now the last part will make you very angry if you don't keep your finger on that flint because it's now time to put this end back on. And if you're not careful, um, it'll pop right back out again. So put this on here like this. All right, perfect. Think this should be great. Take a look down inside here like this. Watch when you spin it, watch. See the little spark that's inside? That's the spark that we want to ignite the fuel that eventually will pop the ping pong ball out. Think this is great. All right, safety first, because now it's time for the fuel. And if you're a miner, make sure that you get an adult who's going to help you out with this. Here's the fuel. 90% rubbing alcohol. I think this says 91%. Most rubbing alcohol is 70%. You're going to have to go to the drugstore for this. And since I, I'm only going to use drops at a time and I don't want to pour a lot out, I simply switched a small amount to this bottle right here. All right, you just need a small amount of the rubbing alcohol. So this is 15 or 20 drops in here like this. I'm being careful not to get the flint wet. And if you've shot it before, because there's no oxygen inside, you're going to blow a little bit of air inside, just trying to move it around so there's enough there to, uh, to combust. Now, you need a ping pong ball. The ping pong ball goes down inside like this. So now here's what happens. Be careful, this is the business end. So when you flick it like this, you get a spark inside. The spark ignites the rubbing alcohol. The rubbing alcohol expands as it turns into a gas, and hopefully it shoots the ping pong ball out. It looks something like this. What, you want me to do it again? Of course, I have an entire bucket of these and a lot of rubbing alcohol. 
dun 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 Pop goes the wee- sorry, the weasel. Now, if for any reason there's still a flame that's here, that's why I have a plate close by, I just put the plate over the top and it stops the flame completely. Don't put your hand over the top, just put the plate over the top and everything is set. This is a pretty cool ping pong ball launcher. So we were recently contacted by a marketing firm that actually works for YouTube and they wanted us to fire some ping pong balls. But they wanted us to fire more than just one ping pong ball, they wanted 6,000 ping pong balls. And if you're gonna fire 6,000 ping pong balls, this is probably not a good idea. So I knew I needed to have a bigger space. So I got some liquid nitrogen, a 55 gallon drum, 6,000 ping pong balls, and a, a little bit bigger space. And I think we got just exactly what they needed. Watch out. All right, so here's what we're doing right now. Um, we just wanna test just the liquid nitrogen in the barrel and to see kind of what happens before the ping pong balls. It's actually much better with the ping pong balls because they cushion them. Um, so this is gonna be the worst kind of loud explosion up here. We just wanna kind of see what happens. So this is what's happening kind of behind the scenes. We're just making sure that all the cameras are set and we're ready to go and everybody's got uh, glasses and ear protection and we'll give, and look, come here, look at this. Brian's still working, see? He just has his little headphones on and he's still working. Because why wouldn't he? All right, so here's our liquid nitrogen sitting in here. I'm gonna cap it off. It's gonna go inside the barrel. Did I mention don't try this at home? Take a look at what happens here, right? Um, so please understand that we're under uh, uh, a protective environment and just don't try this. What's important about this is we get pristine two liter bottles. We don't want anything that's been crushed or wrinkled or anything like that. That's a bad situation. I don't know what the stress is on that bottle. So I want brand new ones. This is Brad Montgomery, a really, really good friend. Funny, funny, funny comedian, magician, best friend. Uh, this is how it works. New glasses and, wear. Yes, and he's got his new glasses. And the deal is, he's gonna, we're gonna stage him in my office. And so he's just supposed to sit there and just pretend like he doesn't even realize what's gonna totally happen. And I'm totally gonna prank with your computer. Yeah. Why don't you be the safety advisor? Yes. making a big fuss over this. It's not a horrible idea, but I'm telling you, it's not as cool as he thought, because I did this yesterday. Okay, like not totally 6,000, like around three, three and a half thousand ping pong balls. So, I mean, like it's pretty cool. He, you think he's, woo, 6,000, whatever. Oh, that's perfect. I'm ready. For today's experiment, we're gonna demonstrate just how many views YouTube Mobile gets in a single day. So let's say this represents YouTube. See that ping pong ball right there? It represents 100,000 views from mobile devices. And this bottle of liquid nitrogen, it doesn't represent anything. It's just really cool. Don't try this at home. Nine million two hundred thousand views, hundred and twenty nine million three hundred thousand views, hundred and twenty nine million four hundred thousand views, hundred and twenty nine million five hundred thousand views, hundred and twenty what? Do you want tuna salad or turkey wrap? I want turkey wrap. Okay. 
Thanks. I don't... One hundred thousand views, two hundred thousand views.